Hello, I'm Dennis Mullen and I am here to present a course on fractional sections. We're in the GeoLearn studios in Kansas City. It's a pleasure to have you here and hopefully this will be something you can use throughout your career if you're in a public land state or planning to move to a public land state. This is one of those uh, subtopics that can be rather complicated and but yet it's a situation that comes up enough that I believe that uh, most surveyors in public land states need to know this and understand this or at a minimum know where it is in the manual and have reference perhaps to the uh, materials that you get through this course to be able to make sure you do things right in that situation. So we're here to talk about fractional sections and let's set some course goals for ourselves then. Our first objective here is to understand the definition of a fractional section from the surveyor's point of view. That is uh, an important issue because there is another definition of fractional section that doesn't necessarily involve a surveyor doing something different. We're going to see what the federal law is on this topic and learn how to apply it and when to apply it. This will require us to also learn how to compute a weighted mean bearing which is generally the preferred solution with some exceptions. And then we'll see how all of this applies to completion surveys. And the reason for that is because completion surveys and a subset extension surveys uh, will often create fractional sections in places you might not even expect them to be. So it's a pretty thorough look at this subtopic. And uh, you know, here we are with a roughly four hour course and it's covered in the manual, the BLM manual, the 2009 BLM manual. Uh, the stuff we're going to cover is really covered in four or five paragraphs. So we're going to expand that out and make sure that we really understand it and know what they were talking about and what kind of circumstances uh, it's setting us up for to do these surveys in these situations. So the subdivision of fractional sections, it comes from the 2009 manual, if that's the current manual but it comes directly from the act of February 11th, 1805. And I throw that in because uh, in some parts of the United States in the public domain, we have uh, surveyors that are in older states that pre-existed uh, the BLM, which that was 1947-48, but, uh, but pre-existed the general land office putting out manuals. And so some surveyors say, well, the manual doesn't apply in my state because my state was done before all that happened. Well, uh, I understand that reasoning, but understand we're not talking about what's happened to the land after it went to patent. We're talking about how was it described and what was the intent of the government when they issued the patent. 